Uh, hi everyone, uh, it's me again. Uh, finally, uh, the sixth episode of Hiroachi So 2 it was just released and honestly I'm just so excited to start watching it right away because on the last episode, as you remember, Mion um, started having that episode of um, Kinemisawa Syndrome and kill Shion, which is something I never ever expected to see and ever expect to see me on falling victim to the Hinamisawa syndrome so this is completely new and it's a big shocker and honestly um, today we're gonna find out I hope uh, what happens to Rika after she stops talking to Keiichi uh, where was Mion and all of this was she telling the truth about the construction guy she saw with Rika it could have been a mountain dog that uh, took Rika away uh, because oh, Takano and uh, Tomitake were captured. Uh, who knows? Uh, I'm really, really excited to see uh, those answers that still have questions, especially one of them where uh, Sadako was found on the Sanasaki Mansion dead right next to Mion. That I have so many questions, wondering, I even stated on my last video why was Sadako in the Sonosaki Mansion and how the hell did she even got in there? Knowing that the Sonosaki Mansion is a very, very secure place. And why uh, did Sadako wait so long to kill herself? So, hopefully we get those answers answer on this uh, episode because I'm just so excited. And see um, if we're going to start a new arc, which I believe the name is going to be Tatakashi. Who knows, I could be wrong, but... I'm just so excited to see the answers finally revealing themselves for this arc and I'm just so excited but anyway um, enough of me you know, rambling and talking and let's start watching okay June 19 okay this is after she kills Shion and Oreo yeah yeah, she's Yep, that's where she starts getting the idea. And it's gonna go after Kimi Yoshi. Yep. Oh god, is Shion's body still there? Goodness. Yep, she got him. Oh, wow, they're ringing Shion's fingernails. Are you serious? Are we gonna see this? Oh my god. Ugh, that thing just gives me chills. 
仕事なんて人は君を言っやめてくれ私に答えられることなら何でも話す私はケイさんを助けたいどうすれば鬼隠しの命令を止めることができるんですか命令のことはわからんな村長として最近に協力をするお嬢さんも説得するだから大好きなおじいちゃんにこんなことしたくなかったあっ。I want to know where what happens here. Finally. Oh, so this is where she is going to get suspicious of Rika. Does it really mean on a kill Rika? Yep. <gasps> Then, yeah. Wow, I can't believe it. I had a suspicion that it was Mion. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe I was actually right about Mion killing Shion, I mean, uh, Rika. Uh, I really hate Sadako. I knew it was a lie. I knew it. Yeah, Mion was going to distract him. Yeah, Rika's body is there already. Yeah, it's like someone holding the door, but I guess not. That's where Rika's... Oh! Oh God.
今のうちにケンちゃんの安全な場所に囲まわないと。俺はそうだ。そうだ。ケンチカのせい。どうしてそう思うのかな。Oh, we see the construction workers there. 実は。God. You barely dispose in your sister's body. And this is where she learns Katie. Wow. Really, that works both ways. Yep, I knew it. Oh, she's gonna go to Miel's house. That explains why she it takes so long for Sadako to kill herself. Oh, so these are police, not mountain dogs. It's almost like the other original arts, they just have to wait for an excuse to invade. So yeah, these guys are not mountain dogs. Okay, that's good. These are police officers. Oh, the soy sauce. So that's an excuse for Sadako to enter the Tonosaki mansion without getting harm. I can't believe I forgot about that detail. Damn it. Sadako. Oh, so it was Sadako. It wasn't even the guards yet. What? So that explains how Sadako got inside. 
the soy sauce notice. God, I can't believe I thought about that. Oh. <gasps> oh god so that's why she has scratches on her neck when they found her dead yeah Sarko. Yep. That's why the gun's not even there. Saruko kills Neon. Yeah. Ah, goodness. Oh, Tatariakashi. Oh, I was kind of right. Wow. I pretty much almost uh, got everything right about what exactly happens here. Because I was wondering, where was Mion when Rika disappeared? And I did had a feeling that uh, Mion killed her and dumped the body in the septic tank. And so I even had a feeling that she was lying about seeing a construction worker right there, leading us to think, oh, the mountain dogs got to her. But no, it was Mion. And it does make sense because I do remember when they show on um, Watadamashi, uh, Rika's dead body, we see that there's like, um, it's bruised up, especially around the neck area. So. And then seeing her choking Rika, that explains those neck marks. But also the body being bruised up. But God, I can't believe Mio literally just stumped the body just to fit it in there. Very, very horrifying. I'm upset I forgot about the soy sauce notice. God, I totally skipped that detail. That explains how Sadako got inside the Sonosaki Mansion. As you know, the Sonosaki Mansion is a very secure place, so that explains how she got in without any trouble. And goodness, for Sadako to shoot Mion like that, it was ugh, horrifying. I mean, I still have the image in my head. It's just terrifying. When she shoots her in the stomach, when you think, oh, Mion shot her first and then committed suicide, but it wouldn't make sense because the gun is different at the end. But then shooting her hand, Sarako shooting Mion's hand, oh goodness, that was horrifying, especially seeing her fingers blow up. Oh, and don't even talk about fingers, especially the Kimiyoshi scene where they 
where Mio rips off his nails. Oh god, I couldn't even watch. It just reminded me of that scene where Shion gets her nails ripped and oh goodness, I couldn't really bear to watch that scene again. It was just too gruesome to me. I mean, I literally ugh, grabbed my finger because they it, just seeing it really hurts. But goodness, this thing was just intense. I'm so excited to see the answers for the next one. As you know, at the end of uh, Tatadama, she, it's completely shocking. It's like, it's where everything goes wrong and you're like, okay, yeah, something's not right about this and I can't wait to see the answers here. As you know, um, Tepe returns to the village, but one thing I noticed that um, when they rescue Sadako, Sadako doesn't have any injuries or any bruises because remember, the day that they rescue Sadako, Tepe hits her and leaving her with a huge bruise and we don't see any of that. I mean, I do remember one scene of the anime, the old anime, when they show, when they show Sarko taking a shower, we see that she's all bruised up from her back. It's pretty horrifying. But in Go, we don't see any injuries in, in Sarko. She's completely clean. So it makes me think, uh, what exactly happened inside that house? And what the hell happened with uh, Tepe? How did Sarko manage to inject uh, Oishi with H173? And we see that it affects people differently. So I can't wait to see answers for the next one because that's when things are going to get pretty intense. And especially for the next next one, which is um, Nekodamashi, which is going to be super intense. As you know, that one... It's a completely blood fest. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you for the next episode. Oh, and also my analysis video because I had to rewatch this again, even though I don't want to see the nail scene because that thing, oh God. Oh my God. I, I, it's, it just gives me goosebumps. I don't even want to watch, but I have to. But anyway, uh, I'll see you then. Bye.